this video, I'll be talking about Amazon's EC2 service. So what is Amazon's EC2? EC2 stands for Elastic Compute Cloud. Basically, EC2 service by Amazon Cloud provides scalable computing capacity in the cloud, which is AWS. Let us understand what it is. Using EC2, you need not invest on a hardware uh, set up if you want to start your own website or any, uh, any other startup. You can develop and deploy applications faster on AWS without installing your own hardware. You can use EC2 instance to launch as many virtual servers as you need, configure their security and networking and also manage storage as per your need. Amazon EC2 enables you to scale up or down on demand or depending on how the traffic occurs on your application, website or mobile app or any other server and you can scale it up on demand so you save money on that. Let us go through a few important features of Amazon EC2. First of all, it provides virtual computing environment known as instances, which you can increase or decrease as per your need. Second, it provides you pre-configured templates for your instance known as Amazon machine images that package the basic configuration or the operating system or additional softwares that your server might need. Next, you have everything configurable at your in your control. You can configure the CPU, the memory, the storage, the networking capacity of your instances, and every other feature which you would have done on premise. It provides you with secure login information for your instance using key pairs. That way, Amazon AWS stores the public key and you store the private key. So that makes it secure accessible. Next. EC2 provides storage volume which is uh, temporary and can be deleted later on and stop or st uh, terminate the instances on demand. Next, it provides you with persistent storage volumes for your data using Amazon Elastic Block Store known as EBS. Next, it provides you with multiple physical locations for your resources so you can comply with various uh, government, various regional, various other zones where you want to keep your data, you might not want to keep your data, so everything is configurable. It provides you with a firewall that enables you to specify what port, protocol, IP ranges are allowed to access your information or your instances. Next, it provides you with static IPv4 addresses for your dynamic cloud computing known as elastic IP addresses. Next, it provides you with metadata known as tags that you can create and assign to your EC2 resources. Next, it provides you with a virtual network you can create that are logically isolated from the rest of the world, also which includes AWS Cloud. Also, you can connect to your own network known as virtual private cloud. I hope this was useful for you in understanding at AWS EC2 and will help you in your preparation. Please like the video if you find it useful. Comment below what I should talk about next and subscribe to this channel as I keep making more such videos. Thank you and all the best.